Hello, senior class of 2020 and family members. I know that you have been anxiously waiting for an update on graduation. Since my last video message, TISD has been diligently planning various scenarios to ensure that we do right by our graduating class, while complying with state orders regarding public safety. To that end, I have some good news and some bad news, so I ask that you please listen carefully to this entire message. I will begin with the bad news. As many of you know, on May 5th, Governor Greg Abbott announced an order that prohibited indoor graduation ceremonies, and understandably so. Upon announcement, this order effectively eliminated any large indoor gatherings to close out the year, including our June 12th prom and our backup plans for an in-person graduation ceremony in either June or August at the Bell County Expo Center. However, the order did allow for outdoor graduation ceremonies. And as you know, there are only a few outdoor venues in all of Bell County that could accommodate the graduation of a 6A high school. And even though Wildcat Stadium would have been our first choice, the unfortunate timing of construction has eliminated this option as well. But there is good news, seniors and family members. Despite the ever-changing orders, our administration did not give up. We reached out to our neighbors, the University of Mary Hardin Baylor, and they answered our call. As educators themselves, this fine institution understands our district's advocacy for our students. Due to UMHB's compassion, we will be able to host, as promised, an in-person traditional graduation ceremony. This date will be on Friday, June 12th at 7.30 p.m. in their beautiful outdoor Crusader Stadium. With prom being canceled, this works out as the perfect evening for this event. Now at this time, I want to personally thank UMHB President and dear friend, Dr. Randy O'Rear. He and his exceptional staff afforded us an opportunity to appropriately celebrate your accomplishments. Temple ISD will forever be grateful to our compassionate neighbor, the University of Mary Hardin Baylor. Now this comes with several logistics, and I would like to outline those, so I ask that you please listen carefully. In order to conduct an in-person graduation ceremony and adhere to social distancing protocols, the newly released Texas Education Agency graduation requirements require the number of attendees to be capped. The alternative would be to host an in-person ceremony without any guests or to not have an in-person graduation at all. Not agreeing with those two options, we would rather have guests attend our ceremony at a capped amount than none at all. Due to stadium capacity and maintaining a six foot distance per household, Temple ISD will utilize a ticket system in which each graduating senior will receive two tickets, in addition to their own, to distribute as they wish. This means each graduate is allowed two guests for the ceremony. With a ticket system, no student, no staff member, including myself, and no guest will be permitted to enter Crusader Stadium without a ticket for any reason whatsoever. Dr. Mayo will be releasing a video in the upcoming days to provide details on the ticket pickup process. Now I realize that this could potentially exclude some family members, along with those that choose not to attend due to health concerns, which is understandable. And that is also why this ceremony is optional and not required. For those unable to attend, we have worked diligently on some viewing options that I am excited to share with you. Number one, Temple ISD will release a virtual graduation video on June 12th at 7.30 p.m. at the same exact time as the in-person graduation. So those unable to attend can also celebrate their graduates. Keep in mind, this is a completely separate video production and not a live broadcast of the in-person ceremony at UMHB. Number two, Temple ISD will contract with a video production team that will film the in-person graduation. We will then release that video to families a few days after the ceremony to allow those unable to attend to see their graduate actually walk across the stage. We also have a commitment from the City of Temple, another fantastic partner, to air this video on TEM TV, their government access channel. 
Details around all these viewing options will be communicated to seniors, families, and the community at a later date. So everyone and anyone that does not attend the in-person ceremony, no matter the reason, will be able to watch the virtual graduation, plus a recording of the actual in-person ceremony. This is our way of recognizing the value of those loved ones responsible for supporting our incredible seniors. Now let's discuss a few of the social distancing protocols required of the ceremony. I have and will continue to be in consultation with Dr. John Maduri, an infectious disease physician with Baylor Scott and White Health. He is not only an expert in this area, but also a parent of two children in TISD. He has graciously agreed to provide TISD advisement as we plan the details of this ceremony. We are committed to following the advice of our local medical experts throughout this process. So now for some details. Upon entering the stadium, sitting in the stadium, and exiting the stadium, social distancing protocols of six feet apart are required. If you are within the same household, you may enter, exit, and sit together. Protocols will only be relaxed for same household members. Seating in the stadium will also be arranged to comply with social distancing orders. Those details will be released in future communications. Seniors, you will be spaced out on the football field at a minimum of six feet apart during the entire ceremony. TISD has secured plenty of law enforcement to monitor compliance to these health and safety protocols. Next, I want to address masks and gloves. These items are strongly encouraged during the ceremony, but not required. This is consistent with Governor Abbott's executive order. And as much as it pains me to say this, stage guests, including board members and administration, will not be allowed to shake hands with our graduates. This will allow us all to abide by social distancing measures. Now I have agreed to these protocols and knowing we are guests in this facility, expect them to be followed and I'm confident that they will. This allows us to move forward with this very special opportunity. In closing, I want to personally thank the class of 2020 for remaining wildcat strong during this time. We are more than determined to not allow this unfortunate circumstance to define your legacy. Instead, your accomplishments and your loved ones will be your legacy. TISD is committed to delivering a dignified ceremony that adheres to public safety practices. In return, I'm asking each of you to do the same. Treat this opportunity with dignity while upholding the safety standards for all involved. Thank you, seniors and family members for believing in Temple ISD. And you should know this, we have never stopped believing in you. I cannot wait to see you again as you step across that stage and step into your future. Now class of 2020, let's do this. Your superintendent, Bobby Ott.